but in 2003... Hi, Roy. Roy, hi. Oh, uh, hello uh, again. Yeah. He finally met his nemesis. Bev Unwin had a, a 1p bet with Tracy Barlow that she couldn't get Roy into bed. Roy went to a wedding. Come on, drink it. Looks like you need it. <laughs> oh, well, uh, thank you very much. And he just had one glass of champagne, which had Rohypnol or something in it, and that was it. Here we are. Oh. He ended up in bed with Tracy Barlow. And there's quite a kind of iconic scene where he comes downstairs in the morning. All right. Oh, dear. Do you know, yesterday went really well. Well, without a hitch, actually. We were having breakfast downstairs, and suddenly I see Roy Cropper walking down the Barlow staircase. Cup of tea? Uh, no, no, thank you. I've got to open the cafe. It was very amusing, but very worrying for Roy at the time, of course. In a nutshell, one thing led to another, and I ended up going back to her house where I had relations with her. You had what? I, I committed a, an act of adultery. A lot of it was very, very painful because these people were, were, you know, they were hurt. The truth is, Harold, your loving husband couldn't wait to get his hands on a real woman. <sighs> we absolutely loved having Tracy thrown into our mix in that way because she's couldn't be more opposite in every single way to what Roy and Hayley represented as a couple and as human beings. I'm pregnant, Hayley. Whether you like it or not. And Roy's the father. Then, Tracy Barley finds she's pregnant with Steve McDonald's child, but sees an opportunity to get some money out of this dolt who runs the cafe and persuades Roy that he's going to be a father. You want £20,000 in return for carrying Roy's baby. I think you're getting good value for money. It didn't matter what the circumstances were that led to that happening and the crisis, the total crisis it had brought to his marriage with Hayley, he had to do the right thing by that child. It's a girl. <laughs> a healthy baby girl. Six pounds, four ounces. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that just sums up the moral core of Roy Cropper in a very uncomplicated way, actually. Hello. So this story goes on for, for over a year. Do you know something, Rag? I've been dreaming about this day for months. But unfortunately for the Croppers, there was no fairy tale ending. This is who the real father is. Bridegroom, Steve. Not Roy Cropper. They had the baby, they had to give the baby back. I'm very sorry, Roy. And that was kind of heartbreaking. <laughs>